Hello together. In this video, I will show you a web-based interface called Web Service that is providing data from the master. With this web service, data can be retrieved from the master and integrated into other programs. To get this data from the IOLink devices, you have to connect an IOLink device and also set the ports to IOLink, like it is already done here. We have connected one device here and if I click on the device or up here on the ports tab, I switch to the detailed view. And you can see the data here like metadata, identification data, process data and stuff like this. And this data is uh, being updated constantly and also being provided via a web service by the web server of the master. I kind of look at this by opening the developer tools of the browser. So to do that, um, you can do options, more tools, developer tools, or hitting F12. And uh, here you can find a tab called network. And with this tab, you can see what data packets uh, are provided and requested on a network. And you can also see a file called ports.json, which gets uh, retrieved every uh, three to 400 milliseconds. And this file, ports.json, can be retrieved by my, um, uh, by my HTTP request or by my uh, browser if I add ports.json to the URL. So IP address of the master slash ports.json. Important to know, if you have a firmware version of the master which is lower than 3.3, it means uh, it's called dprop.json, so it's a different name. And if I request the same file now which is generated, uh, then I can see a file that is formatted in the JSON format. So JSON is a syntax and this means that, for example, a curly bracket opens an object and this object can have different properties or uh, it also can contain a list uh, with, if you have a square bracket. And if we have a look at the whole thing, then we can see that we have one object right here and it consists of the property interface and props. And in the property interface, the version and the description, for example, is described. And in the property parts, you have a list. And behind this list, you have several entries. So for example, uh, you can find metadata, uh, like vendor name, product ID, process data inputs, and process data outputs. And uh, it starts with port zero, so that's port one. And uh, we have a device on port three connected, so I can see the connected device and its data accordingly here. If I change the process data now by moving my cylinder, then nothing changed, changes, uh, because I have retrieved the file once and after that it is static. So I can retrieve the file again, and then you can see that here now um, the process data is changing. Once again, I'm changing the value, update it, and I get my new process data. If I unplug the device and reload, then there is no more data available actually. If I connect the device to another port, for example to port zero and reload it again, I will have my device data available there. So this ports.json file or uh, the web service, which is providing me this file can be used um, when I, my master is connected to the network. So this means with different kinds of software that is able to do an HTTP request I can address this web service. So with just this one request, then I can actually get the data of all ports at once, like identification data and process data from all connected IOLink devices. The file that is queried here has a total of 16 entries. So if you scroll down a bit, um, you, you can see that there are some points, uh, some entry points that say none and the reason is because uh, our biggest master has 16 ports and the file is structured the same for all masters. 
every Ethernet-based IO Link Master from Barlow has this web service. And the good thing about this web service is that the web service is provided by the web server of the master. And as such, it is independent from the controller of, uh, of your connected, so it's independent of your connected PLC and also independent of the peripheral communication. So uh, you can call this web service if you don't have a PLC connected, you can call it when you have a PLC connected um, and it's a read only command. So, which means that you can only read data and you cannot change process data. So this means you have the opportunity to retrofit an existing system or extract data from an existing system, no matter whether you have a controller or PLC connected or not. So what you can do with this web service, I will show you a little bit in the next videos. Thanks for listening and enjoy.